Okay. Good plan. Defeat the Automat in the Marble Courtyard. Here we go. Oh, are they to are they referring to that or hang on. Oh, over there. Okay. Here goes nothing. Something has changed. So many people shooting at me here. Oh, it got me just at the last second. Yeah, nice. These shooting guys are getting a little bit annoying. I'll take them out as well. Out. I think there's one more on the other side, yeah. And I'm pretty sure we have to go up there anyway, so this is fine. Oh, I didn't even see you there, mate. Okay, we've got a, enough capsules now <laughs> to kill an army. 545. Yeah, nice. Back into the labyrinth. Here we go. Still seems like the right direction. Oh, we're taking two of these guys on at once. I gotta do so many parries here. Oh, they delay the attack sometimes it gets me. Oh, this is actually sort of hard. Oh, calm down, you two. I can't get them both at the same time. It's too much. Alright, now one on one is fine. I hope. Damn it! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I might try some explosive grenades this time. Just to make this a little bit easier. Got my essence back. Or well, maybe I can go around this way? Nah, they see me immediately. Alright, let's try. Wait, that doesn't do anything? There we go. Okay, now we should be able to take one down. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Just need to take them one at a time. It's so difficult when there's when there's a few of them at once. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we will save the grenades now, I think. Woo, hang on. Oh man, that got way too close again. These guys are really hard. Like, really hard to parry as well. 
think that should be all of them though. Bloody hell. This one guy up here hopefully shouldn't pose too much of a threat. I guess I blocked too early because it hit me just at the end. Oh. Yes, okay. We're doing a solid amount of damage still though, so... Even if we get hit once or twice, we still take him out relatively quickly. Yeah, one more. Okay, looking good. We had to use so many capsules there, though. A little bit sketchy now. We're down to 16. At some point, we had like 26. Hmm. Look at these two big, like, two things on either side look like they're guarding this area. Uh oh. <laughs> This looks like it might be the boss area. 24,000. I don't think it's enough to upgrade, to level up. Otherwise, it would be glowing yellow. Yeah, just short. I could sell a weapon, maybe, like this one. We might have enough now. Oh, we need 200. Um, actually, I think I've got some essence, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, good. Save the game. Alright, let's do it. Seems like there are a few smaller battles still to come. Judging by these machines on the left and right. But we can take these guys out, hopefully. Okay, that went pretty flawlessly. Now for the second one. Nice. Okay, those guys are, are pretty easy to take down now. I've done it so many times. <laughs> Keep getting hit, hang on. Okay, we're good. We are good. Oh, I thought these dogs would be... Would, like, come to life. <laughs> when I move past here. Oh, is this not correct? Or maybe? Oh yeah. Here we go. I still can't believe that it's still going. Let's go exploring a little bit over here. Oh, hang on. Okay, we 
should be fine now. I'm pretty sure the compass doesn't tell us to go this direction. Oh, it does. Hey, so what was in the other direction then? Oh, the, the gate over there is probably blocked off. That's why. Okay, so we were going the right way anyway. We can go that way. Oh, here we go. Oh, defeat the automat in the marble, marble courtyard. Here we go. Oh, we got two spiders here. Ah, I hate this. Potion. Hang on. Yes, one down. Okay. Okay. We should be fine now. Okay, Ooh, we did it. But I don't think that's what they're referring to with Marble Courtyard. I think they're referring to something else. Alright. Over that way. Huh? I mean, the path continues, so... We'll keep going this direction. Go up to the left or down to the right. Oh, that actually hit me, Continuing in this direction. I'm just curious what's over here. I don't think this is the right way. I get a module key. Is there anything actually back here? Hmm. Strange just to have this left side of the courtyard for no reason. Okay. There is actually nothing there. Here we go, even more enemies. I'll take this guy out first. Decent. Go up the left side or the right side? The left side is actually open. Look at that. But the right side is not open. Well, let's take this guy down the bottom first. Because, I mean, why not? Just in case we do fall down, the, there won't be enemy enemies down here to take us out. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that last attack. Whoa. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, there's a chest down here anyway. A bismuth block. Wow, that was uh, that was actually pretty worth it. Okay. Oh, we can actually jump across the middle there. Look at that. Alright, we'll go up this side first and then jump across the middle. 
is why not. Easy enough. That's blocked off. Alright, here we go. Okay. Could probably unlock this, right? This will be a shortcut and we can use this vessel as well before continuing on. Also a very nice save point. Let me get our health potions back. Can't upgrade though right now. Because the weapons we're using are pretty much completely upgraded anyway, so... Here we go. It still says defeat the automat in the marble courtyard. So we've still got the same objective. We're still going all the way there. It's just never ending. Oh, replacement lever. That's practical. The marble courtyard is this way. Someone is expecting me. I can feel it. I must prepare for the worst. Oh, we just went around in the big circle. We're back here again. But I think now we've opened the door. Yeah, okay. Might be able to perform a little bit of a sneak attack here. Nice, we actually took him out. Alright, there we go. We still can't go through there? Oh, here. Oh, this is where we have- this is what we have to repair. That's why we picked up the replacement lever. Gotcha. And we're in. Here we go. Okay, so this is the whole reason why I've been collecting these improved potions. I think instead of petrification, we'll go with freeze, improved explosive. We don't really have that many improved flames, so we might stick to normal flame for now just to see how much impact it actually has. And we'll probably use those first. Here we go. Look at this thing, it looks like a peacock. You good, buddy? We'll just use our flame grenades for now. Oh, that hit? I'm happy doing this just until it actually gets set on fire. Hang on. There we go. Now we go in. Oh, bad timing, I guess, to go in. Oh my god, chill. Oh, whoops, using the wrong weapon. What am I doing? Light on it. Ow. 
No, aquí hay algo. Damage. Did I get her? Yes. Right, hang on. We'll go some of this. Come on, one more. Yes, frozen. Oh my god, that is so broken, those freeze grenades. against its master. I am quite happy to concede this point, but what about the Count? Have you forgotten that he gave you life and whispered the order that animates you? Look how he runs, the coward! Do you understand what he has in mind? La pauvre enfant, sleeping so sweetly, she won't be dreaming for long now! Garçon! Gatanias! Don't move! The time has come to set you free, Aegis. This whore's soul has poisoned your cogs for too long. Adieu, sad puppet. No! Auntie Devine, I don't want to die. Nice. The sun is rising, and you have slept for far too long. The beauty of this world longs for you, just as you long for its light. For you are like the flowers that open in the morning. I know you, mon ami. We loved each other. Vous en souviens-t-il? You gave me your heart. So please, let me give you mine today. Vive heureuse, Atenaeus. For it is happily that I leave this world. This way, monsieur. I didn't actually know that until now, that the monsters are actually like humans. And once you kill the monsters and destroy this crystal in them, that the humans can wake up. I didn't actually realize the whole time that that's what was happening. Huh. Okay. So that's why when that crystal exploded, we always go over to a chest and open Monsieur, it up and the person wakes up. The king. 
It is now up to us to wield his scepter. In this trying time, crucial decisions must be made without delay. First and foremost, we must take back Paris. And how do we do that, mon dieu? There are automats everywhere, and they are constantly regenerated by their crimes. We have the king. Cagliostro has fled, but he is leaving a trail of blood. I doubt he will survive his injuries. As a result, the automats are left to their own devices, with no one to give them orders and no reinforcements. And since I'm sure the Parisians will no longer venture out into the streets, the machines will soon have no more souls to harvest. Sooner or later, they will no longer be able to move, and par la grâce de Dieu, will become inanimate objects again. It's a matter of days, weeks at most. Mais ensuite, once peace has been restored, what of the kingdom? This is indeed a crucial issue. Leaving the nation without a government would expose it to the greatest danger. Worse, it would condemn it to civil war. Eh bien quoi, monsieur? Can you not govern together? Unfortunately, the disagreements that divide our assembly run far too deep. That which we can agree is that we have been given a chance to choose the person who shall succeed the tyrant. I believe I am the person who is best suited to exercise power. Of course, I will only hold office for as long as it takes to set up a new assembly and a government of the people. For the French will no longer tolerate a king. We can be sure of that. Are you joking? What have you done that would convince us to let you take down the monarchy? Answer, Monsieur de Robespierre. You have our full attention. Monsieur, I rest my case. Very well. We must now make our decision. I pray that each of us shall respect this decision and set aside our personal interests for the sake of peace and the common good. Who among you approves the appointment of Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre? About to get the axe. The National Convention welcomes Citoyen Robespierre, Consul of the Republic. Citoyen Louis de Bourbon, former King of France, in the name of the French people, in light of the innumerable crimes of which you have been found guilty, the members of the National Convention, meeting as an extraordinary court, have voted to sentence you to death. The sentence will be carried out on the hour. Now that justice has been done, the nation is ready to hear your last words. My loyal subject, since you must lead a lamb to the altar, since you must offer a sacrifice to this new France that you intend to found, I will be that sacrifice. How dreadful this world is, where beauty is doomed to fade and flesh decays. I found no consolation in this world. I vainly thought I was giving our souls the gift of immortality beyond our mortal bodies. The Grim Reaper was my sworn enemy. Influenced by the most awful of men, I believed that the genius of machinery could overcome death itself. Alas, I have lost this fight, and I'm branded with a mark of murderer. Life, even more than the crown, was heavy for me to bear. I have suffered too long under the thumb of nature, which I despised. As a child, I saw my older brother die. I lost my father in the prime of his life, and then my mother, who was even younger. My beloved daughter did not live a year. As for my son, the first of my heirs, I unknowingly gave him to drink from a poisoned cup. I mourn the death of these poor souls daily. My death will not unite us of this, I am certain. For I, in my misery, have lost the support of my faith. So, Executioner, lay me down on this board of a I will sleep now. 
Sleep at last. And not to dream. Man, this guy is so wicked. Cut his head off immediately with the guillotine. But it'd be interesting if they maybe try and set up a Steel Rising 2 though. Like maybe he like gets away. Could happen. Because I mean this is the first game from the developers so... Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe no 2 then. Well, I mean, not first game from the developers, but the, the first game of a series. Like, it's not a, a sequel or anything. Yeah, cool. So that's it. Seal Rising. Spiders. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I have to say. I I don't think I enjoyed it as much as Themesia. I actually really did enjoy Themesia. And Themesia felt a little bit more fluid. Or, I mean, Themesia or a Timesia, however you want to say it. But if I had to compare the two souls like that I have played so far, I would probably say Themesia is a little bit better. But I mean, it was definitely a good game. It's an interesting take on like a different side of the French Revolution, like robots taking over and stuff like that. Um, I feel like they could have maybe gone a little bit deeper into the robot side and maybe scattered a few more boss fights maybe around the map and not just had, had the boss fights of like an end of zone type of thing. Like maybe more... I mean, I know we, we had a few side quests that we still had to do, but even along like the normal path, just like a few extra interesting robots or automats rather than always just like an unstable variant of the same machine we've been fighting the whole time but i mean they're little nitpicky things apart from that i really enjoyed the game i'm not sure if i can wholeheartedly 100 percent recommend it because it is, it is a 70 dollar or 70 euro game and that is quite expensive especially for sort of i don't want to call it 100 percent an experimentation but i mean you could tell it was maybe a little bit rough around the edges in some points and some of the textures and things loaded in and, and some of the animations on the people were a little bit janky, but it was a very good game. That was Still Rising, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe, like the video, follow the channel, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care, guys. Catch you later.